not going to get a lot of Disruptor Nut 1 to roam around the start. If You know, Nightstar can't do anything until the 4 minute hits. And, uh, you know. Overlay. Overlay. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I don't mean to be back sitter. And... Uh oh, the water's splashing. Spl uh... Splashing up on the land cables underwater. Uh, Minsky, they need to get their levels very much in this team. Like, Disruptor level 6 is a huge boost for them. Death Prophet, you need to get. It's not really just level 6, it's getting points in a lot of A secret of just had the spirit specter or the specter plus whatever, and they get the haunt, they find kills. He is even there to hard carry the game. He's just looking to gank, gank, get the urn charges, the Yasha phase, the the quote unquote bad man specter ability. And it's not, it was not, not something completely innovative, but it was very much like yeah. it got no one is that just because this guy was some AKMMR pub player who people were like, Who is he this guy? Be, he He's must AKMMR. Be doing something right. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's the, the non radiant specter build been around for forever so yeah. it's not like he's did something unique but it was he he did something yeah. which wasn't the mainstream way of playing the hero and got AKM or doing it so that was what was made it the bad just need build. to get on that vanguard specter <laughs> build the i give up build that's the build <laughs> you imagine you get AKMR doing vanguard for a specter then that would be because that's not specter build <laughs> like that's just like that thing. Uh oh there's we trying to go for a, a cheeky little ward here and he comes down the stairs, he is welcomed by the open arms of Mineski, and they are off to the races already, your gods. They're going to get their first blood. Nice. That's and it's a, on the lone druid. The start. For Mineski, they need Death Prophet to just have a huge game more than anything. Like You can afford to feed away kills here or there on other heroes, but if Death Prophet can have a great game, can snowball, things will go very well uh, for Mineski. They've got, they've got a good drive. Team fight is insane. You've got vacuum with the storm hammer, with static storm. You've got mm -hmm. night stalker for vision to allow that to happen, and then you've got the death foot just as like the the big carry to pull up with exorcism. So. I like Mosquito's draft a lot better this game. It has the potential, that's for sure. I mean, it feels like a draft almost we've seen before. Maybe sub out the Death Prophet and in with something else, but the potential's there. It's it's on the execution at this point. You realize your potential. Well, try, try, try to, to dodge yourself. Yeah, yeah. He says, "Look at my." Why doesn't like Pugna's ulti get that kind of love? You know, it's, yeah. No, it's Soul Scythe that do that kind of work. Pure damage, go through everything. No big deal. Three chances. Yeah. <laughs> gotta wait. You gotta wait ten seconds for no, trade until you get X. But of course, uh, you can move. It's not channel like it's not channel since where you get cancelled by being done. Like, <laughs> yeah. Please. She's been blessed. <laughs> Apolina, they really, of course, don't want Misery to, to be involved too much. They've hustled him back towards that tiny forgiving camp, which will just will farm out from there. He is doing this under the watchful eye of Mineski. They do have the vision of him, and they are rotating that way. I don't know if it's for them or if maybe it's to, to make a move uh, towards the mid lane. Minute rune. More than Two minute think. rune slash jump on Misery. Said yep. rune. Yep. Let's see. Oh, see, yeah, they'll go on him first. Ah, yeah. They got a smoke. They're creeping in. Oh, oh the game. No, he's looking to stack it. And he's walking back once again into trouble. The same two knuckleheads that caught him out for the first blood are going to be taking down again. All right. Sick play from Mineski. And now they're looking for Puppy, but Puppy, he was ah, the one who stayed the back and got the rune. <laughs> yeah. And it was a haste rune. Yeah. So maybe if they were a bit more patient, hung out, <laughs> they would have got a haste Whoa. rune and possibly an Kill. I mean, that's, that's a cool. That's that's what was so sick about that smoke game. Some people are like, oh, I'm, I'm a smart caster. They're just going for the two minute rune here. They're not really rotating. And no, they're rotating. I'm sure Mizzy was expecting the same thing. The supports leave top left. It's to get the two runes. He's not expecting them to just run at him at that neutral. So, a really, really sick rotation coming out from Maneski. And, uh, as he gets steadily back, Puppy, who's oh, trying no. to over the camp, and oh, he actually missed oh. it in the void. Who ended up getting the big rap there right last hit? Yeah, down, yeah. Oh, miscalculated, unfortunately. Uh, and that kind of reveals by now that the ward is on that cliff yeah. spot too. Didn't block camp because they wanted to actually punish him and kill him off of that camp, which is a nice little deviation in play because he actually popped down the sentry early on, expect to have to deward that camp, but not the case. It was just straight up aggressive ward.
And now this fan has plenty of room to spread his happy little wings here. 20 and 19. Not a lone druid in sight, because that guy is in the jungle elsewhere. That's a good move. He, yeah. I think he's realized that's what's warded, and rather than trying to de-ward it... nothing and, and dying. Yes. Go to the safer jungle, where you're not going to get caught out. Mm -hmm. Bane looks to be kind of lingering around that off lane, but I don't think he's even going to go to lane unless he really pushes to the wall. Manesu's going to free farm the spin. Death Prophet should do a right mid. But why is the Dark Boy? Why is the, uh, not Dark Seer, Night Stalker still? I mean, he's still been hanging out there, top lane. Now, no CS, he's not really getting XP. I don't think he's gonna be doing anything here at four minutes, though. Wants to stack and pull, probably yeah. more than a thing. I think, yeah, there we go. He'll stack, he can use the pull camps a bit. I mean, something kind of... Oh, get wrecked, I'm oh. sorry. I mean, PPD talked a bit on some of his vlogs where, like, when you have a support and there's no one in the offlane, just play greedy and get some farm and levels by using your pulls and stacks as a support. Yeah. It can go a long way. Alright, a bit of a commitment here. They got uh, two ranged creeps plus the catapult. Plenty of pushing power to take down this tower in one hurrah. And I think they got it. it before get close enough. Wait, whoa, whoa, gotta glimpse him first before you turn around. We'll be able to get it off. Puppy did get off the sleep. And here comes the LD. And uh, well, there goes the Mineski. They don't, that, that kind of slows down their tower push. They don't get the kill, and Lone Druid's here to kind of leech up the experience. That really bad fight for them. As they go back to work here, the little lane just a casual harassment from Weez. He crosses paths and makes his way down bottom, but back to top lane. Looks like they're about to take down this tier one, looking to forward the deny. Secret are on the case. They're going to be teeping in PP or a pile I die rather. And uh, look at this code set up with the help of the sleep from Puppy. But Puppy eating a lot of damage is going to be forced back. Thunderstrike is there, and uh, looks like Jules wants to make a fight happen. To trick for the tower, it is going to end up going down, but Jules will also be dropped from Pi. Yeah. He kind of threw his life there to try and prevent the tower deny. So ultimately, saying that he was successful at oh mid lane long reach here. Is he going to commit for? I know this puck was almost level six, but it's not going to matter. He was six, but. Not necessary. They get the Death Prophet down. Yep. Even before that, I was going to say, we has done incredibly well in this mid lane. Death Prophet is not farming well, and while the two mids are even on CS, you expect Death Prophet to be around like the 30 CS mark typically yep. right now. And mm -hmm. we've just been trading blows, messing with the farm to the point where, like, Puck doesn't need as much farm as a Death Prophet. Death Prophet's like more that kind of carry type mid where you need to do really well. So it's been a very well executed mid lane coming out from Team Secret. Mm. Lane going right still for Mineski mm. this fan is getting just pretty beefy. Just one the stun too, so going for the like, greediest possible build to yeah. farm up ancient stacks. He's going to be for the home of the Dominator and stacking for days. Get up on my back team, because uh, still not seeing a lot from first nightfall. That's a good move, because Secret, like, they, they're they often going to be fighting with four heroes until Lone Druid gets the Midas Radiance, which is going to happen slow and usual this game because of but she's being pressured, so it's kind of hard for Secret to come contest the Ancients or fight until later on the game. But like, Secret can start farming those Ancients from like 10 15 minutes before uh, Lone Druid's ready to contest. Here's a smoke move. Vineski on the prowl. Yeah, one for first setup here. They see Misery alive, they want him dead again. They're gonna put uh, more on. That's fine though, like the sentry's there, but you, you, they can't deward that unless they get flying vision. Yep. Which is. They don't know. Yeah, the puck or Spectre dagger, but. Chances are they won't check again. It's they just it's know. like mind games. You you reward the same spot. Like no idiot's gonna reward the same spot, and then you do it. and They don't check it. Just hope the misery maybe get baited and the stretch not past the tower a bit. But he's got to know it's still the last little bit of night time here. A lot are missing from the map. Very nervous. Playing this very nice. Where the hell are they? Where's Mineski? Are they looking at me in the dark? Yeah. And Puppy's like, if they're here, we're going to catch them. There they are. Get them. Look at the move. They set up with a sleep right now. The Haunt's going to be leading in from Envy. Glimpse back attempt to kind of keep him back in the bay. But here comes Wee. Sets in. Nice two-man coil. Going to connect right now. And everything Jules can can to just keep them away from the rest of the team. He sacks his own. The Martyr in need. And it looks like everyone else will make a safe retreat. So good counter response coming out from Secret. They could read that situation well. They just knew Mines were lurking in the dark. They caught him. Yeah. And from Eski, they can't really counterplay until they have the level 6 on Disruptor, so... That's not when you're being seen, you're expecting to have it. Really nice play, heads-up play from Secret, saying, let's use this haunt, let's get aggressive. They've been doing this constantly with the Spectre, and it continues to find them success. Jesse Vash is going to be able to snap that Illusion Rune. 
Well, he sends an orb his way to let him know he's not happy about it. And back at mid lane here, it's still a, you know, a quiet death proc game. You're not usually at your strongest even when you get your first dandy little point into your exorcism. Yep. It has potential, but it needs to be built up, nursed. Here we go. Here's, this is where the, the potential is. Yeah. Feed. Feed mother. Mm. Let her become a very scary ghost lady. Soul siphon that poor satyr. All right. So, the XP's coming together for her. And, oh, this stack for Mr. Potato. Nice. Who's got a Helm of the Dominator already done. So, it's this an economy is... game from both sides now. And this is... The... <laughs> that was the... After still doing that was Envy. We're using the God Strength just to find neutrals. It reminded me a lot of, like, Weezers when they started just using... Popping the ultimate to find neutral. And it's like, well, duh, why not? You found faster. You're not using the spell anyways. Yep. Like, he's not... Pushing the top tower you already took, you're not using it to, fi to fight. People just have that constant. Yeah. Oh, bottom lane, Rior the Liquid Mega go on him. He's got the surge. He's hustling out. Not cut through the trees. Coming right back on through, and he's so close, but no, oh, not gonna be able to make it away. Weehaw's there, drops the net, and with the urn and some right clicks, he will end up going down. Disruptor try to make it to his aid, and Jules is unfortunately not gonna be able to help him out. A good move from Secret though. They get the yeah. catch, they get the kill. Right. Yeah. It's kind of similar to last game, secret leaning on kills, but unlike last game, Mineski are farming well. They've got Sven yeah. and Death Prophet topping the CS charts. Ducks here, not doing too great, but I think big picture wise, Mineski are still kind of on track as far as their strategy is concerned. If they can get the Disruptor and the Night Stalker symbols, they'll be looking really good. And secret, I think, yeah, they're going to. They're kind of wary of this Sven already having the Dominate. If they can actually block off the Ancients and prevent that stack from happening, that's going to go a long way for them. I do want to see, uh, is this Darkseer attempting to rush for the mechanism? That he is going to rush yeah. for the mech, he's almost got it here. Um, but still needs a, uh, quite a ways to go. Nice. That's the big problem with Mineski. They still need a lot of levels on their team. Like, Darkseer just level 7, has no points in vacuum. Yeah. Disruptor, no level 6. Night Stalkers, level 4. It's a very under-leveled Mineski side. I mean, this, I, I still can't feel like this next night time, Mineski really got to fire off at all cylinders here. Yeah. Take advantage of, by then, you hopefully have uh, your Exorcism in form to go. Ion Shell, scary Night Stalker up in your face. I feel like they could have the tools to make something happen here. They're looking for a go towards this bottom lane. Exorcism going to be committed here. They're looking to go. Glyph already popped. Yeah. Haunt comes out here from Secret. Is there going to be a hit from Envy? No, it's a it scouting was, one. <laughs> it scouting was like a zoning. get me the hell out of this bottom lane kind of haunt. And it sends a mid lane oh. and it turns into a own rotation for Mr. Potato here and they're going to be taking him down. Good catch from them. It's a trade for a tier one bottom, which of course will now open up the jungle for Mineski to just kind of, you know, set up shop. Anything they do though will be under the eye of Secret. They have already a couple of defensive wards down there, but. A secret man, they take down Sven. Yeah, just showing like their kind of experience, like Envy knowing this, and they start heading towards that T1 tower bottom to scout underneath the tower. He's like, I'm out. No questions asked. Luckily for him, there was one hero not there, and it's a huge kill to be getting. You killed the most farmed enemy hero at mid lane, and that's just something where Mineski uh -oh. is getting outmaneuvered. Disruptor in trouble, dishing out everything he can, but this man only has a boot and a wand, so he's very, very frail. Goes down right away, Mr. Raging Potato shows up, angry at his fallen comrade, but unfortunately not going to be able to dish out revenge. In fact, he's the one in trouble. Surprise, Coconut oh, Death Lord. Oh, see you later. In a row for your top farming spin. That's... Yeah, that's where your chest starts to hurt a little. The morale is crumbling inside. That's this... the worst thing as a carry. Like, when you you know you are the most... Like, he knows he's the most farmed hero in the game. He's yeah. the only one who's had an amazing time. Spectre's been roaming around. Spectre's not a great farming hero. He's been farming stacks. You know you're, like, 1,500 net worth of everyone. You die once while your team pushes out. You're like, okay, my team got a tower. It's not great, but it's fine. You respawn and you TP and instantly die again, and then you're like... You know you messed up. Hard commitment in from the Death Prophet, and oh no, oh. this one also lead to a trap sprung by Secret. It's almost like they just know, like Mineski are just quick to yeah. be baited yeah. into an opportunity like that, and they just have reinforcements at the ready. Now, there might not be reinforcements ready for Mr. Puppy here at the bottom lane, but that's not a huge loss for Secret. They just wanted that guy to get some farm down there, so he's been pushing it out, finding his own way. Takes a bit of a jump right there, but before that, losing these double cores from Mineski. 
This is when really these players are going to be tested <laughs> psychologically to make sure they can yep. still stay in the game. I've been just so good at punishing Mineski's greed with the, the farming cores and Death Prophet and Sven and... Oh, Maybe immediate haunt and immediate commitment here. He wants to get the kill <laughs> I, and Mis leave. Misery wasn't even going for it. Misery was like, as soon as he saw Disrupted, he, he pulled his bear away like, oh, I don't want to go. And then Envy instantly haunts. Envy, you, you see how he wants to play with his Spectre. It's, it's all out aggression. Get he doesn't care. Get him. Get him. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's a support. He doesn't care. He'll use that haunt and secure a kill if he can. Oh, from downtown, but it's not going to matter. Weeha shows up once more. I've been the gatekeeper to this mid lane. Look at this! His, his blink silence. He's silenced it in the trees, so. Yeah. I, I get something that cancels his blink, or he just actually. He still got it. the coil, though, and he drops a huge one on a four. Tries to sidestep, but is going to be going down. But his coil might lead to oh, a huge turnaround. Pilot Eye with the kiss and with the death ward. Good work. Oh, Not enough to bring him down, man. Potato. He's got the armor. He's happy to soak up that damage. Cuckoo is back, and he quickly gets a. A double kill for himself. Huge goes back set up for Pup. While they're going to also siphon down Pilot Eye. They're trying to split and get the best of both. But look at the turnaround brain sap coming out. Puppies be able to get a kill under York. Crazy fight. Two for two. It looked like the Witch Doctor was just going to win Secret the, the fight. The cast with the Death Ward. But I mean, Secret just didn't fully commit. If they fully committed with the Death Ward cast, it would have been amazing for them. But the they were kind of half backing off then they went back and the grip was like full duration amazing from puppy as well but mineski just tanky enough the sun sven the war cry helping yeah. negate a lot of the damage so they could kind of withstand it not really a fly on the wall to know it's like you know maybe with a little slip up from Wee, he's like oh i didn't get it right and everyone's like okay let's push back but oh they're right there yeah that was a hectic moment that was probably the biggest problem for secret at the end of the day for that fight was that he didn't get the the blink waning rift off to start the fight but not the end of the world for them, Lone Druid, top of the net worth chart, everything, that's like the plan. You look at Alliance's games, you have a rough time in the first 5-10 minutes of the game, and then you pull it back with that Midas Eye and Talent. Suddenly, 15-20 minutes, you're the most farmed here in the game, or at least up there, and that's kind of where Misery yeah. is right now. It's about to buy Relic. Yeah, it's barely a problem, because they have the Druid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks. Mid lane, there is he, there he is now, he's, he's gonna start scratching at this tier 1 a bit, and... I'm glad it's the last game of the day, because I don't know if I can put up with your unbearable jokes. Ah. <laughs> I just have to <laughs> paw for a moment and appreciate that one. Okay, here comes Mineski now, back on the offensive. They got the smoke. I know, it wasn't a good pump. Let's just keep going with the cameraman. I know, Rob, I know. He was so disappointed. He took his hands off Rob, the keyboard for that one. Rob is such a good pun that, like, where he's just like, uh, going. Maybe he's a fly. Five, he's like five that he wants to throw out right now. Oh, oh puppy, shit. though, gonna get caught out. He goes down. Nice catch off there for Mineski. They're hoping to follow up with a tier one takedown. Can they get it? And it looks like they are gonna be able to grab it. Oh, yeah. Just a little teaser. Nothing still too terrible for Secret. They, they still feel like they're doing fine. I gotta say though, Envy's, he hasn't been. He got that kill top lane. I haven't seen him die a lot. How come he's not really farmed? I, I just want to be I, blunt about he's it. He's been ganking. He's yeah. He has not been hitting creeps in lanes. I guess is the the short version of that. Yeah. He it's always lone druid farming while he just roams around or uses haunt whenever it's up. He was kind of formatting with the puck like that fight mid lane he was there taking getting involved misery was not really so it's very much a, a play cell choice from him raging potato taking note from uh mr old chicken earlier commits for an smy now on his sten yep and uh it helps a bit obviously gonna be a bit faster a bit tankier it's not luxurious. Uh, does he need to be able to still get the setup with like a blue dagger, let's say, or can you fall back still on like your dark seer, or I don't know, a glimpse? For yeah, a he'll self? he'll want a blink dagger this game. You don't yeah. have a. I don't think it's quite enough. Yeah, you don't want to get it too soon though. I think the SMY is just a good farming item. It's also a good fighting item, so you can kind of get it before the blink dagger. Okay. Probably want the BKB eventually too, but again, it's not item you want to rush into otherwise. It just, you slow down your farm too much, you get it too early, and it causes you you and your team problems. Yeah, hey, uh, it's really hard to gauge because it's like, you really want to try to take this into a farm kind of a game? You might put it, all your chips to a Sven and they have a Lone Druid and a Spectre. Um, I mean, you have Death Pro I put Death Prophet in like the carry category as well. Uh -huh. And team fight wise, you've got 
the vacuum, like the docks here in the late game is always a scary beast. You can't make illusions of like the bear, unfortunately, but the spectre illusions that those things hurt. That's true. So I think Minesky, as long as they're kind of keeping up, can go quite well into the late game, but it requires getting an Ag Scepter on Night Stalker at a fairly decent time, I think, for them to keep going well into the late game. And oh, a nice little pickup. The Daylight Exorcism commitment into the uh, Ghost Pit here. Secret knocking him. Get Paint there. it. Yeah, but yeah, it's going down so fast. Help the little baddies. But Seek should be able to get some flowers and even take a fight while the exorcism's down. If they piece together, that's what happened. Okay. They're hustling in here, like they're hoping to use the back end of this exorcism with a glimpse setup, but that setup doesn't seem to be there. We have darkness. Secret re -engage. There's the glimpse. It's for Pi, though. This is a big commitment for a little support. They'll get him down. I think they want to go in. They have a good setup. And they here comes Wee. Everything. Yeah, they, they want it. They're moving in. Get back to the fight. Oh, Coil is only going to be on Rior here. He pops the mech around, gets a two hit vacuum wall. This is pretty awkward, though. Yeah. And uh, he got the stun. They pull back. They don't really know where the commitments lie. And quickly, Vanessa, like, we don't like this fight at all. Pi is back. We'd rather him lose it. But now nah, they got a good fame grip. And the Death Lord looking to finish him off. They can't get him down yet. He's able to make it away. Fair He's radio. good. He runs back out. Okay. He's still looking to hustle and hide. They are scurrying around these towers right now in secret. Not thinking about committing. He's got the Aegis. Gets off the stun. Will commit the second life. And no, now they look to go on Cuckoo. Cuckoo's going to be able to get the, uh, the Yules up. Silent. But yeah, without the firepower of an exorcism, they don't have it. Neski now. Dominoes beginning to fall by one. It could potentially look like here, but here comes the second wind of Raging Potato. Let's slash a puppy, but he's not getting it. He's getting healed up instead. Potato will end up going down. EOTK, aka Mr. Envy, gonna grab a double kill right now. So will we. Following suit right there, a four for one trade. Oh, oh the awkward, timid start, mostly from the side of Mineski. They were so drawn in close. They did get their glimpse set up, but it's such a hard commitment for Little Pie. Yeah, and I don't think the buyback is necessarily even the problem. It's just a daytime fight without exorcism. Mineski are so weak in that scenario. I just don't feel like that was a fight. They, they should have used the Aegis to just regroup, fall back farm, wait till you have nighttime, which was coming soon. It was like the nighttime began as soon as that fight ended. Right after that last kill, oh, 20 minutes hits, it's nighttime. And Exism going to be coming back up soon as well. Like, that was just a bit too rushed coming from Maneski just because they got overconfident saying, oh, we've got an Aegis. We've got a pickoff. But realistically, Secret had everything they wanted. The one thing Maneski didn't know about, which probably maybe was the reason they tried to take the fight, was that the bear had the Radiance. The Radiance pick up Lone Druid made a big difference in that fight. Misery finally getting involved and able to dish out a lot of AoE damage because of that. So, uh, to give. Some credit to Nesky, that was something that had just shown, but I think even arrived like right as the fight began, so they weren't quite ready for it. Big stack here for the big boy here on Mineski, and uh... Uh-oh. Did that illusion scout out this offshore account? It doesn't look like it. He's yeah, going right for it, but Secret on route, man. They know this is happening. He got it quick. He used his God Strike and everything. And uh, they'll see it's committed. And they'll look at any sort of stragglers. They get the one kill for Jules. And they get the coil onto Mr. Potato. It looks like they might be able to grip him here. He's trying to find a way out. But they got the feeds grip. They got the catch. They got the kill. 56 seconds. He's going to be at the out buyback. Now this is looking like another overhaul for Secret. Uh, Follow that with a tier 1 takedown. Mineski, like, they really great individual plays, and they, I really like their drafts. It's just always these kind of mistakes that I think they would normally get away with, maybe playing against the teams in their region, but you could pick against teams like Secret, EG, Ehome, whatever. They will punish you and heavily punish you for the kind of mistakes they're making, where you're having, getting caught out on a core hero like Sven or Death Prophet. It's been a, quite a number of times where these... Heroes have been caught out by themselves or slightly out of position, and Secret have been just incredibly good at just capitalizing on it every single time. New items coming on here. Looks like Darks here able to finish out the Greaves. Uh, so, Puck with a BKB. That's not every day you see a first item BKB on Puck, but maybe just really hates the Static Storm. There's a, yeah, that, a lot yeah. of silence. That really removes like a lot of the playing field for Secret. Like once that Static Storm's committed, and especially if it gets a decent choke point or mid lane, it's like Puck has. Nowhere really to, but now with the BKP, it's yeah. normally you, normally you'd expect the Yules because you can get out of like silence. Even Static Storm, it uses up most of the duration, but because there's so many, I guess he's thinking if I Yules, 
off a like night stalker or a death prophet silent the static storm waiting for me yeah. or yeah vice versa and you may as Yules you may want the bkb anyway so hey just mm -hmm. just get it yeah so uh by tradition i believe that means envy what's he building now he's he got 3500 i believe it's the uh, heart Man to oh, that's right, Diffusal. Yeah. Then Diffusal Heart, heart next. second Diffusal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as we saw in the previous game, yeah. Diffusal can also purge, help purge off all these silences, which may be another reason why uh, the Yules may, seems to make more sense on the puck, but uh, it's it's he's so rich and he got BKB at such a good time, why not? Oh. It's not even about, like, even it's not like a carry here getting BKB too early where it goes down to five seconds and you can't fight. You're not worried about getting kited when you have a five second BKB. You just want the BKB to get out of silences, which whether it's a 10 or a five second BKB, it doesn't matter. So for Puck, getting a fast BKB doesn't slow him down or risk Ooh, his leg. Potential game. flank set up here. Secret are touchy, but maybe they don't know there's help nearby. They're going to commit it anyways. The Haunt will reveal the story. Weeha still wants to commit. The uh, coil is only going to be on the Seven. He pops his BKB. He's puppy. He goes right for him. Death Ward coming out. Doesn't care about a BKB. Is just choking right through him. And he wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bear. And quickly Sven realizes he's just grossly outnumbered. He's already lost a chunk of his team. Only two left alive for Mineski. Now they were able to quickly take down Envy here. It looks like in a, in a Death Prophet catch. He he haunted in on the back lines, I guess. The the Doxier. He killed the Doxier, but then he couldn't escape because of the Atos from Cuckoo. The Atos X is pretty pretty handy against Spectre, good against the bear as well, just for the Atos. So really nice Atos game, but oh suddenly your high ground's in trouble. You've got no Sven, yeah. you've got no exorcism as well. Nope. And it's daytime. Oh what's his what's his night? Saxon go! Boom! Get the hell out of my base. Oh, Drops no. it right on Weeha's head. Weeha did have the BKB, but he knew he was going to survive, I suppose, and sidestepped yeah. out. Gets the safe charge. Well, they'll get racks now, but... Could look to push again if they really wanted to, with Exism down. Something could be a consideration. But Secret is just going to go so well to the late game. You've got Lone Druid, Sector, Puck, who's got all the items he needs. Mm -hmm. A supporting duo that's also going to offer a lot. Death Ward, Fiend's Grip, Mineski are in a tough spot now. Looks like they're going to try to get because they passed over the blink for the Sven. Uh, and, and I can't help but feel like it, at this point, they're just hoping that he could be yeah. the, the raw DPS cannon, so they might just go crit or something after this. And they just, can still go back for the blink. It's, yeah, it, it's like, I, know, I just feel like it's like, we got to get all the damage now. But you're right. I mean, it might be necessary. Darkseer could just it get combos, the blink. It combos well. Like, the when you get the Darkseer blink, having a Sven blink top of it, just like the Sven True. blink gets better with Darkseer's blink. The problem is right now, Darkseer doesn't even have a blink. So Sven having a blink... Close-ish. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's not worth having... A, uh, Sven Blink, if your Doxy doesn't have one, is probably partly okay. what he's thinking. Well, you want to have the, the Blinks to, to work in tandem. That's a nice thing for Mineski. They have Darkseer as one of the best high ground defenders in the game. Uh, and with that kind of a powerful combo, and if that opportunity approaches and they actually have everything off cooldown, Mineski might be able to put up a respectable fight here. Yep. So, wonder if Seeker are going to be wary of that and just want to make sure they have all their resources they could ask for before making that kind of high ground push. Uh-oh. Oh. Or they can make an attempted pickoff here on Mr. Cuckoo, and who's now can... out for one minute, has a buyback, though. His scissors back up, but this we've just, just a T2 tower, and you kind of fall back, wait out for Roshan or something, which is real respawning as we speak, so that's handy. Tier 2, then Roche. Uh, someone scattered that. I think that's a Sven neutral creep. Yeah, so he's... I mean, that's not about Roshan. Secret do not. Secret might just try and force... They, they probably high ground to force the buyback. Like the stack, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's making a stack for Secret. Stacking with Secret's mm. right They're there. up there, they're like, rubbing their hands. Ooh, did you just make a stack for us? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Who is be taking it? Oh, misery it's will. Misery. Thank Pop you, Mineski. Don't cry, and that's that's easy farm, right? Huh? It's a bit tough, and they okay. know Decide Mineski's it. back. Do you care to... Jump. They, keep... they have a work, right? It looks like is that a sentry up there on the hill? I don't know. Yeah, well they have an ops too. So even with Death Prophet dead, if you get caught up by a smoke vacuum Sven stun and a BKB Sven hitting you, like yeah. that's really bad. So that's actually some very disciplined play coming from, from Secret. Don't touch my stack. Alright, this uh puts him damn near close to that blink if it's what he's going for. Just gotta get the blink together on your dark now. I think it's worth getting. It's a 2k gold item. You can still yeah. get the crit at pretty good time. If you're gonna, unless you're losing the game, which like a crit's not gonna save the game. A blink has more like potential to change how the game 
develops from here. It's 2k gold, you can go back for the crit right after this. You've thing. never seen like the one saving crit that is just one shot? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, killed. it's a Crystalliso, so he can't even get like the full day, like yeah, at yeah. the same price point that is, so. Yeah. No, it, having an instant follow up for a dox with the doxy blink, like having the instant vacuum into multiple <laughs> stunts, just. I guess I was just making the mistake of looking at it as like, uh, we got to go all out or nothing, but when you take a moment to look back, Medeski do have respectable defense. They have, they have plenty of damage. Yeah. Damage is not the problem here. Let's see what they can do with what they got, though, because yep. Misery's already in, and that bear is doing his sieging thing, battering Ram down this uh, tier 3 tower. Set up in good position. The Atos slow on the bear. But he's still going to work. Now Envy looking to kind of... Oh, take him in. You should drink to kill Roshan. Didn't age us off of that bed. We oh. picked up Hyperstone, too. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't know oh. what's happening. Static Storm. We've been thinking about going in. I thought they have this. He just... But he has no God Strength, as you mentioned. Tried it so badly. And he's about to die. He's eating a full Death War. That is going to be the Aegis life. Everyone else from Neski is just caught up in arms from Envy, who is just shoving him back inside their own baseline. Now, here comes the spend, looking to fight right on top of the wall here, forcing Seeker into it. They're going to be catching out Misery here. Misery, going to be going down. Now, Mineski, shooing away Secret from their base. How much can they catch here? Cuckoo looking to go in. Can Secret return, though? They're looking to step back, committing on in. Puppy forced away. Another Soul Siphon, going to be chasing him down. There's the Crypt Sword. There's the kill. Hmm. Mineski ends up taking two. So, so. I Okay, they'll get a third. They'll get three. the puck as well. That that makes it more worth it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Losing a Rax, a tier, th tier 3 tower in the range. Range Rax only, but like Sven choose through another BKB charge. He it also lost the Aegis. Yeah, it didn't cost him any buybacks, right? Mm. No. No buybacks, but... Yeah, it's it would have been great if they didn't lose a Rax, but... They did it feels like the Sven used going through these BKBs and that only working because he had Aegis since Sven. If that happens again, Secret can win the game off of it. Buying out time for the AC. <laughs> Alright. So this, will, this will amplify the damage output from the Death Prophet Ghost as well. So some nice synergy with the rest of the team. Yeah. DPS to the side, BKB or Shiv is probably going to be BKB. You won't normally see like the the pl casual plate mail makes sense. The casual Ogre Club is not really a thing. Well, the big thing Mineski can actually find advantageous team fights. Now they have the Night Stalker Aghanim Center, or at least try to find them with the vision they have. Okay, well, back to the grindstone here for for Secret. Their first bit of a hiccup we've seen in a while from them this game, and they'll have to get back to the, the farm here. Yep. DP's BKP now in hand, and for A, mm. uh, this is typically where he grabs the heart. Yep. But I, I mean, it's okay. no one's really getting MKB. Maybe he's sneaking an early butterfly. Maybe. Hmm. I mean, the tankiness it's would be nice. Physical damage, so you want armor theoretically, but they're already getting AC on Lone Druid. He can get the Vlads as well, so I guess at that point you're getting armor from the rest of your team. You may just stick with the hard build. Scotty's another. If you want some actual stats that give you armor and HP, Scotty's always decent, and you can kind of kite the Sven a bit with it, but I don't think he wants to be fighting the Sven head on anyway, so Scotty may be less. The puck, has, there we go. More more kiting for the Sven that can stop him through the BKB. Very nice. Oh, that was. He saw, like, Puppy, like, kind of just slightly urge at, like, lunge at him a bit. Just I guess he's BKB so, gone. Sven already down to five seconds on this BKB oh, I'm now. Sure. I think that's. Oh, no. That, okay. Oh, that, that... that BKB actually kind of. If you're down in five seconds, you're like, well, uh, you're five seconds, well, anyways, but. No, that's a, that that's could... a win for Puppy there. <laughs> and that's Secret looking at team fight in theory here. If they can find a jump, they yeah, take it. You think, but... Let's see. Still going to be very wary of what Death Prophet can do at the of the game with Exorcism. What does Pylai die on his Witch Doctor? Did he get an eggs? He's got a glimmer. Yeah, it's not that far, but... It's fine. It's in there. He, he got the glimmer the last time, if I'm not mistaken. Just loves to hide himself under that magic cloak, dropping down that pesky Death Ward. I don't know. I, I I'm always tickled by that new a the new Aether lens, but I suppose it doesn't amp the damage of the thing, but it does allow you to kind of plant the Death Ward from a much safer distance. 
It's an interesting item because it doesn't give you like direct utility in the sense like you can save, you may save, like having a Glimmer Cape can save you or a teammate's life. Okay, they got a setup, but okay, they step on out, pop in the KP. They still get a good death ward down, or uh, yeah, Static Storm responses, they take out the disruptor as they move in. Good sleep counter comes out from Puppy and. Raging Potato is getting kited all over the place, it looks like at this point, while well, Envy is making a move, cleaning out the back staff right now, about to take down Mr. Jesse Vatch. He picks up that one. Spen moving forward, is going to be able to take down Pile I Die with the assistance of the Death Prophet. Weeha hides up and above, and Envy looks right back into a wall, and uh, we'll do get out with Illusion. Oh, Set to go down, he's still alive here. Where is he? Where is Envy at? Daggered there he is. over the cliff, all right, he's Daggered out. Daggered his way through the dimension. And out to the safe. But you've just used everything. God strength, exorcism, the send BKB, and suddenly Secrets at your base. They're, yeah. at, they're at the doors knocking they have a glyph. Okay. racks. Okay. Toast stun. Crypt swarm. Everything. All of our little spells because we're out of the big ones. We gotta make this count. Mineski, are they gonna be able to hold or will they be going down? Zero two. I it's looking just gonna let different. this Rax go and defend the others. They're not out just based on this one melee Rax. Unless they are eager to fight here, I don't know. There you go, Death Prophet. She's going to be forced to yield up, and as she comes back down, they're going to be chomping her apart. Raging Potato commits another AKB at this point, but he gets right click down. He is locked up from that coil stun. Turns back with a stun, wants to go man mode, and he's out 80 seconds. Dream, Ag's dream coil stun. It just was like it looked like him. a Marana era. I was watching. He was I was like, hey, he's BK, it took me like a couple seconds to realize, like, wait, he's BKB. Why is he not moving? I'm like, oh, dream coil. That is a. That is, 4.5 second stun or something. Ooh. Good night. Yeah, 4.5 seconds, level 16. <sighs> Brutal. <laughs> and now, after taking out two sets of racks, I respect Mineski for being a Neps and Die kind of a team, but this one they might have yep. to just kind of roll over and take it. It's a hard one to look at here. Secret. Very happy now after coming off two draws. We'll be able to claim a series 2 0 and get the full three points. It is three points for 2-0, right? This no, it's two, two points for this yeah, one. Okay, so, they're going to two so points. So their draws system. actually aren't so bad because they still yeah, get it. Okay. It's not like they missed out on a potential three-point win. Should move them to near the top, I imagine. Of course, with four different games happening at once, it's hard to keep the edge of everything. Oh. You know, Secret are like, you never say die, but I'm going to kill you in your fountain right now. <laughs> and the <laughs> perhaps open. Wall even committed in there. Mm. Problem is for Mines uh, Mineski 0 6, they still have a series left, but there's been so many draws in this group. All the other teams have like a couple of wins already. So Mineski at best, they get a win, they have two points. I think everyone in that group almost has two points. Yeah, so, so maybe tiebreaker yeah. situation kind of a thing. Or I don't even know. Mineski may already be close to being eliminated. I mean, you're 0 6, so chances yeah. are you are either Depends. eliminated or right on the, the edge of the line. But nonetheless, a very difficult day number one for Mineski. That's the hard part of this format is there's just there's nothing forgiving about it when that one day group stage is is the format. And they uh, after their home base has been taken of everything, including the the kitchen sink here, they decide to throw the towel at him as well. That will game and Secret will walk away with a two at the end. That means they've secured four points at the end of today. It's Mineski was zero. Okay. GG. Oh, they, they canceled yeah, the GG call. Oh, this is one of those awkward okay. goodbyes. We're like, goodbye, <laughs> and then you run, you run into DC, them again. Pause, uh, pause. Oh, wait. Did you go? Are we done? All right. Nilo? I'm sorry. <laughs> and be, and be like left right away. He's like, I'm going back to the so, He's like, I'm awkward so. enough as it is. I can't deal with this situation. Yeah. Gotta go.